folks. Um, Andy here. I am aware that the description still says Ninja Baseball Batman. I just barely got this put together um, this morning. Uh, I've done a lot of changes. As you can see, I'm keyed now. Um, got a better lens. I'm front facing. Audio is still a problem, so empty if you're watching. Apologies. I'm aware audio is pretty bad still. Uh, I've also moved to a uh, controller rather than a uh, joystick. So I'm hoping that I'm not going to have as many problems with the speed changes. Um, so, chat's still up. I'm able to read chat. Um, I really need to get a lapel mic because the fan above me is pretty loud. Obviously the uh, treadmill is going to be super loud. And, well, it is what it is for now. It's still, I think, better than it was last time. So, let's see what happens here. There we go. Okay, there we go. Let's make this a decent speed because I'm not going to be. All right. So, Alien vs. I have. Select your player. change their volume. Uh, I, I can't use a standard volume for everything, so... Yeah, I can't have Superman. Is that... Okay, perfect. And again, as I said at the beginning of the stream, uh, I still don't have a dedicated microphone. Uh, I'm going to try to not stop the treadmill if I can, so anything I can handle through the Mr. Menu, I'm going to try there. But my audio is what it is. Uh, until I get a lapel mic. So, and this is a, an issue with the actual PCV. Um, I think because they're like, get people through story as fast as you can, slow pumping more quarters. But after stages happen, if you push any button, it uh, fast forwards, which is hilarious. Okay, I'm glad that worked. It's so bizarre because, well, okay, it's not bizarre. The core for IREM is still in beta, so my guess is the audio has not been properly balanced on that one yet. Uh, anyway, so yeah, we're, today we're playing the CPS System 2, I believe. Uh, well, that's redundant, isn't it? Uh, the Capcom Play System 2, uh, Alien vs. Predator. I don't have a ton of information on this game. I didn't. Uh, I didn't pre-funk on this. A little slow. Uh, but we're gonna see if we can get through it. I, I hope the front facing is a little bit better. I know it was like really distracting with me talking over my shoulder uh, constantly. Okay. Give me my. Give me my weapon. So yeah, as I said, not very, uh, not very versed in this game, but obviously versed. Get some verses. And again, I'm sorry about the treadmill. The uh, the sound is just not going to get fixed until I find a new mic or dig out my my Zoom, which I was not able to find yesterday. 
think it was in a rental that I did. Okay, so yeah, I fix it up. Weird. I wish there was a run. Oh, that's a turtle power right there. You can definitely tell because uh, I'm looking slightly off to the side. Uh, it messes up my my walking, and I tend to slide. Yeah, so between empty between the treadmill and the uh, overhead fan, there's a good chunk of room noise. See that fast forward? I was accidentally holding down the button when that scene ended. And it doesn't matter if it's a direction or anything. Very strange. What really sucks is I can't hear the games at all. I don't have any audio piping through. So, very interesting. Now, of course, this game is based on one of my all-time favorite media properties, To Catch a Predator. So I'm playing Chris Hansen, father of Evan Hansen. Think about that irony there for a second. How did dear Evan Hansen even... Like, yeah, oh, that guy's pushing 80 now, I think. He started off, you know, he was younger than me, but I'm pretty sure now he's collecting AARP coupons. Don't need that yet. So, if you're new to the stream, the idea behind this is I have been stagnant for three years, basically, since the pandemic started. Oh, that was weird. And uh, because of that, um, when I got offered a gig on a new uh, film shoot, it became pretty obvious pretty quickly that I needed to get my stamina up a bit. To be very clear, yes, I'm overweight. This is not about losing weight uh, at all. It's just about feeling good packing what I'm packing, along with a bunch of cameras. So, uh, not looking for a bunch of people to tell me their, their weight loss secrets. I appreciate it, and I'm glad that your journey worked for you. But this is not what this is about. Uh, surely it'll happen a little bit, but definitely not my, my main goal. my sphere. Oh well. And the reason I choose arcade games is simply because they are the easiest way to uh, to do a, a walk and talk on a treadmill because they don't require any uh, continues. They don't set me back to the beginning and I don't have to strategize too much. I can just sort of punch buttons. Hey, Merrick, how's it going? Welcome. Come on, let me put you in the seat. So, HR Giger inspired goofing off today. Let's see how that goes. Um, in the event I get a game that is too long to beat, or too short, um, we'll take that as it comes, basically. But uh, so far, my my goal was around 45 to 55 minutes. Uh, I went, I believe, 51 minutes uh, of actual treadmill time uh, on the last round, and found out that having programmer feet uh, means that I got some pretty nasty blisters. That was fun. Okay, I don't think maybe this is better. Oh, okay. I see. Doesn't matter which attack you use. Just a turret section. So has anyone else played this game? Oh, you're packing up, Merc? Where are you uh, 
Are you moving or is it a studio or what's going on there? I will never, ever, ever pretend that I am good at games. This is literally why I play quarter measures. So is the, uh, is the keying less distracting? And also, is the front facing less distracting? like the oh jeez I feel like they're both a little bit less distracting um moves suck Merc I'm, I'm, I'm not feeling envy for your position uh and I'm assuming you're gonna be uh moving all of your computer stuff yourself I've never let a, a moving company handle my computers ever I never will <laughs> Uh, Scott's the same way. Uh, my production scar uh, partner, Scott Brown, for those of you who don't know, um, he had to do a move to England, and I think that was the only time he ever let a moving company handle its computers. And as I, I remember, it did not work out well. He ended up having some destroyed media. So that's fun. I'm just going to pick up these valuables stored by top men. Top. Then. What can I say to my heart? So renting trucks is, uh, it's got its own benefits for sure. It's got its own detriments as well, but uh, that I think is probably a, a good move. What's everyone's favorite uh, Predator movie? I won't get into Alien or Aliens because I have a lot of opinions on that one and the whole, the sequel is better than the original thing. Not my, uh, not my go-to, but it's not worth arguing. I think the original is a master class in isolationist horror. And I think sequels are fun, action film. Really enjoy it, but I don't think anything touches Alien. Yeah, exactly. So the the most terrifying thing to me is something that is required for my livelihood, but that I also, you know, use for my primary form of entertainment, being treated like a like a piece of furniture and getting smashed. Oof. Maybe I'll switch out after this, I don't know. Uh, so, my two favorite Alien movies are probably Alien and, this is blasphemy, Alien 3, uh, because I like Amelie, and I thought it was a very neat art house film <laughs> that used Alien as a, uh, as a backdrop. When it comes to Predator, my favorite Predator movie is Prey, by a lot. Absolutely love Prey. Absolutely love. It is. It's so funny. Um, but then, of course, the first Predator, and to some extent, the second. I think that the second Predator was a lot of fun, in in a weird, stupid way. But I also, I think that <laughs> Gremlins Two is one of the best sequels ever made, um, because of what it wasn't and what it decided to do. And the fact that Joe Dante was like, well, we've we've told our story. Where do we go from here? Insane. So that's a huge... To me, as a filmmaker, I love that concept of just taking a film franchise you're being sort of forced into and doing something really fun with it. Also, it led to one of the best Keen Peel sketches ever made. I'm sure everybody has seen Um, 
But yeah, uh, I, I really definitely... I wouldn't say I'm a... Like a full... Like, I'm not an aficionado of any of these movies. Except for Alien. Alien, to me, just hands down, one of the, one of the best pieces of film ever made. Oh, hey. Well, that hurt. I really should... Yep, yeah, so I pick a mark. Pick a mark. Oh, no. Lieutenant... I am on a uh, CRT that's a little bit far away. Just because of the input lag. Three times the danger. Three times the suspense. Three times the dude getting carried on someone's back. Any movie that stars. Uh, oh, my brain fell out of my head, as it often does. Yeah, I, I just I love the cast. I love I love three. I thought it was really silly, really fun. I didn't catch it. Okay, so I think my problem with this is I'm not using my secondary attack enough because it doesn't look like it's it's not like a special in the same. It's not special in the same way that. Um, most beat up shooters and charges, I've noticed. So, this is pretty great. I do think it's funny that James asked for this game and isn't here. But yes, I'm a fan of City of Lost Children, which also kind of impacts my love of three. You know, it sounds silly. Here, Alien Queen. Oh, sorry, it's a warrior. But yeah, if you haven't seen Prey, highly recommend it. I would say skip the Comanche dub to begin. It's a very neat exercise and it's beautiful, but give yourself the best viewing experience first. If you, I mean, if you speak Comanche, obviously, you know, do what you need to do. But if you don't speak Comanche, uh, just because uh, dubs sort of change how you uh, watch a film simply because they you focus a lot on, on the mouths not at, not lining up get off of me uh, but oh it's it is absolutely fantastic um, something that I wish I wish we'd see more of in these sort of um, extremely uh, in these in these reboot remake times where everything has to be a proven property, uh, definitely um, anything that is uh, anything that's new, anything that brings anything new to the table. I tend to like, and it makes me really want a feudal Japanese um, telling of some type of predator story, where maybe a predator comes down and is thought to be an oni, or something along those lines. Yeah, the, the health pickups are like regular burgers, they're, you know, uh, uh, stereotypical health kits, like first aid kits. You figure for something like this, you could do, you know, I don't know, some alien technology or something. Hey, Mr. Beast will get right on that. So, if this is super short, I don't think it's going to be this short. This feels way too short. But uh, I'll pick something else to. Uh, oh, the real, the real evil was the humans all along, which is true. Is that Christopher Columbus? See, proven. I'm gonna 
shoot you with your own gun. I feel like our allies fighting against any of our enemies. Because yeah, something something I ran contra. And no, I'm not playing contra. Oh! Got ourselves a uh, lifter. Bye. Is that Dennis Franz? The commish running that lifter. All right, bye, Merc. Thank you again. I really appreciate everyone showing up for these. It's uh, like I said, it's your chance to see a, a fat guy kill over with a heart attack. Which has got to be fun. At least interesting. And uh, it helps me out because it keeps me motivated. Um, this is much easier than than trying to just work out in a vacuum. First of all, they're dusky and small. Second of all, we have a cat. So working out in the vacuum sucks. <laughs> yeah, I won't be doing Contra anytime soon. Um, arcade Contra is actually not fun. Maybe I'll do NES Contra. I think NES Contra is quite a bit of fun, but I, I honestly do not like Arcade Contra at all. Maybe I just need to give it a chance. Uh, in the Hunt is on the docket, so if you've never seen In the Hunt, it is a metal sluggish uh, submarine shooter. A lot of slowdown, but terribly fun and uh, very hard. Not with infinite quarters. I'm the quartermaster. I got a quest for you. You got a raid over, Mark. Sorry. Weren't those all the quartermaster quests where, like, you had to infiltrate, uh, and infiltrate, uh, one of the PvP zones or something? Oh, that was just a philosophy course there. I only know that I know nothing. Bye, power loader. of heavy machinery with a stick is maybe a little unfair, but I don't know. Oh, we got it. You're one ugly motherfucker. Who's actually talking to the producer? Oh, okay. It is. I really like it. That the uh, and it's a cool way to tie into the film. Um, arcade games, of course, have a terrible reputation for movie tie-ins, but this one's not so bad. I gotta say, uh, there is another Alien game coming up soon. Um, for this system, for the Mister, uh, or sorry, not Alien, Terminator 2, but it's the arcade shoot 'em up game, which could be a lot of fun. Give me that big gun. No, I hate to leave burn. I don't need it. I'm not going for score.
All right, this has very um, Knights of the Round style pickups. Oh, hey. I got my burger back, burger back, burger back. Oh, it's holding down the button. Hey Tim, how's it going? Uh, yeah, no, but I get it. I, I know no bones. It's fine. I lost my stick. Okay, this is much nicer not constantly speeding up and slowing down the, the treadmill, I gotta say. Apart from my not looking ahead veering. So the, that old, oh, you know, your sense of direction thing has been pretty misproven. Everybody will veer one way or the other. And this is my my proof right here. Oh, cool. I've uh, been applying it a few places. Not exactly with much gusto, but I haven't gotten any interviews yet. And I'm fighting with unemployment because... They don't want to pay you what you are owed if you tell the truth. Yep, sure is. And I'm, I don't know why, but I'm just a, I always tell the truth. I don't want to get into a perjury situation, um, but the people who freaking lied to, to use my address, they got paid out. But the people that actually deserve it are owed it and tell the truth, Get screwed. So, made for capitalistic. I think it's because if you tell the truth, you have some kind of integrity, so they think, oh, they'll get back to making us money soon. Sorry, I've been watching Andor, and I am a, I'm a radicalized anti-capitalist. Uh, that that show's so good. Highly, highly recommended. I it's my favorite Star Wars. It's my favorite TV show ever. Yeah, of course Doug Commie do. It's Communist Doug. Love that man. Sad he's gone. I hope he's doing okay. I haven't talked to him in forever. Don't hope Skykick's doing okay. I mean, I hope the people that I like there are. But yeah, I heard he got a new job. I just haven't talked to him about it. That is hot now, <laughs> which that's already funny to me. But uh, should give him a drop him a message. Wonder what kind of interesting blisters I'm able to take. I get any. So my hope is this game lasts long enough. Oh, I don't think it's gonna last long enough. But we'll see how it goes. This feels very close to the end. Maybe it's not, but it feels like we're on some Wayland type ship. You know, it's funny, when you're gainfully employed, LinkedIn recruiters never shut up. The second you're looking for work, they just evaporate. Very funny. But, no big deal. I do have, you know, this gig coming up in, in May, which will pay my month. So, we're whalers on the moon. We carry a harpoon. Something, something, something. Then we tell tall tales. We're whalers on the moon. Uh, he didn't go to the moon. That was just code for domestic violence. I love Futurama. Not enough to quote it accurately when I'm walking on the treadmill. But, you know, it's something. That speed up just cracks me up every time. Ah, pray, pray. <laughs> I do like that they use the alien language. To, or I mean, the predator language. To, this guy sucks. In 
hard to tell. But there weren't well, no whales, so we dealt all tails, and I'm saying no whales. That's right. Yeah, that's right. Celsius or Fahrenheit? First one, then to other. Hey, James. Oh, you bastard. Oh, you bastard. I hate uh, mirror, mirror matches. I mean, I guess it's only a mirror match if you're this guy. I haven't even got him off of his first fucking yellow bar yet. Meta like give up recently? Didn't uh, Zuckerberg get tired of his new toy and change the direction yet again? Yeah, stay in this corner. Oh, you didn't do the thing I said. go invisible. I don't get to go invisible. Oof. Well, this is definitely where they decided, fuck you kids, you got this far, you think your parents got the monies. Workers, uh, that Babe and I, at least one that we, we talked to over. I know <laughs> microtransactions have been ruining games since the arcade. Um, actually, learned something new about Double Dragon 3, I think, and that is that they literally had it set up to where you go into shops and pump quarters in to uh, to buy stuff in the game, which is just horrible. But yeah, that, that thing with basically basically nerfing everybody for game balance, uh, despite the... I guess would that be a, a good example of early ludonarrative dissidence? Is uh, being a much more powerful character, but in the game, you're, you're nerfed for balance. I mean, as someone who played some... Castlevania coming up. That's just also par for the course. Goku and Vidya! Better than Goki and Vidya. Though Goki actually fits that profile very well. Pop him on. I don't think I'm ever going to do fighting games on this specific stream, by the way, because, oh my god, that just literally sounds like dying. And if I can't have a joystick, no chance. Oh man, I had him 
unlimited. I should have just been blasting that thing. No, 100% you can hook up the fight stick. Um, you weren't here yesterday, Fade, but uh, basically found out that my particular treadmill has an extremely sensitive dial button. So any stick movement shook it around. And uh, I was, at one point, I went from 0.5 miles an hour to 7.2 miles an hour. Uh, which wasn't fun at all. You boys like grenades? I got grenades. Stop it. Stop it. Stop hitting me. I'm on your side. Kind of. I mean, I will take your spine, but... I know, I should pick someone else, but man, I really love it. I love this particular predator. Okay, now I've got unlimited these guys for two seconds. And it didn't. Come on, jump at me so I can shake my stick at you. Get off my lawn! Okay, fine. Don't get off my lawn. Why wouldn't you point that down? <laughs> yeah, it was uh, literally a ramp up. Very, very not fun. And then also getting it set back because it buttressed right up against the joystick meant a lot of extra work. And honestly, I think that was my, I think that's the reason I messed up my feet more than anything. Oh, come on. Oh, I didn't know that the jump button could be actually activated as, everyone loves lasers. I didn't even touch that one. Oh my god. Fuck it. I lost yeah, I know, give him the stick. Oh give him and the stick disappears if you drop it for too long. Your your main primary Extra weapon just goes away. It's okay. I'll die soon. I think I mean that in game. They are really good at running away from that. What's wrong about it being over? Give him a mistake. I think. I don't know why the concept of a predator using a submachine gun is so damn funny to me, but it's pretty hilarious. token minority to GOP gathering. Exactly. Uh, which, okay, steampunk Robocop, where he's using ye olde guns? I would, I would be all over that. Oh, that's cool. We're getting our weight bench tomorrow. Um, obviously, there's no real way to 
work with that one up here, but that was a plate of very nice fish. Oh, is this a boss rush? Sure looks like one. And they're good at guarding that super. Guard this. nice that they drop a basically uh, an unlimited time super weapon when you, when you respawn. <sighs> okay, well, I was unfounded thinking this was almost over, so that's good. Okay. I just want to be able to tell my alien or my predator friends that I went to Earth and ate their bugs. It was delicious. It's the chrysalis. I eat it the chrysalis. I didn't know he was going to sonic me. Okay, I'm just going to avoid me blast you at this point. There. Oh, yeah. Too close to be that close. Give me the gold! Oh, cool, another power loader. Yes, that's what I wanted to get. All the little scrubs. Awesome news, uh, James. Sorry, I missed the first part of what that was. Um, like I was, I was saying earlier, this isn't about losing weight at all. It's just about feeling good while while walking and carrying things. Enjoy to die, which is how they start every morning in Australia. Enjoy to die. I will say losing weight is not exactly a uh, downside if it happens, but the stamina is the big thing. I just haven't had to even just get up and walk around all day, you know? a long time. I am like a stopping bug. I don't know if like the next part of the line. So, uh, trust in me, it falls well. 
Yes. How are you liking Tunic? I really enjoyed it, but it was it was too hard for me. I mean, I gotta be just straight up honest. It was just too hard for me. I'm sorry, sir. You haven't beaten me yet. Oh crap. Control pad. The, the the big issue with it is the layout. It's just not. It's a fighting pad too. I think I need an SNES controller for this one because the inline buttons. You don't have a lot of. There's no thumb spread, so you can't do your thumb on two buttons at once. They're really good at avoiding. That's awesome. Um, I think my favorite thing is definitely uh, the fact that um, th that it opens up that really beautiful uh, manual artwork. I really like that. Is the language puzzle in the uh, the language of the game? Because there's a full cipher in that manual, and it seems like it's pretty easy to figure out. Well, yeah, that's fine. Just murder me. That's fine. games where they re-pick up their weapons feels uh, more realistic it's not the, the right state obviously but feels like something they would do alright boss rush oh thank you Back your stick. Okay, this looks promising. Oh, 
I didn't know that. I will check out the no-fail mode then, because it was too hard for me. I did enjoy it, I'm not gonna lie. Hitler. <laughs> oh, they are the ultimate prey. Guess we're using the, this guy. I accidentally hit the wrong. Yeah, it looks like, or at least the humans in the Was crashing. That's their MO. The ship is always crashing. Alright, we'll watch this and then uh, that'll be it for today. Which, whew. Alright, so In the Hunt, I think, is next. Um, and then after In the Hunt, I'm open to suggestions, so please let me know what you'd like to see. Again, I generally prefer coin-op, simply because I can brute force through them while, while doing all this. So it's very, very handy um, for this type of thing. And if you find this interesting, let me know. If you're like, this is stupid, and I'd rather just chat and watch you play games, uh, let me know that too. Um, but. I think I'm definitely going to continue playing games while walking on the treadmill just because this is legitimately the, the hardest I've done it, but the easiest it's been on me psychologically. So, uh, and there's something to be said about that. There's definitely something to be said about doing what works. So, that's the prospect of the game. Oh, God. Oh, that's so much story. 
Um, but thank you, thank you everyone for joining. I really, really appreciate it. Um, this has been a lot of fun, and I am absolutely, positively going to keep doing this, um, at least on my own. So hope to see you on Friday.